Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Uh, as you can see, we are being attacked by a couple of Argies here, and that is because, guys, we need an RG. So in the last solo episode that we did, uh, um, we did set up a new workshop with a fabricator in it. Now the problem is, is that to get the fabricator working, I do need to have some actual, uh, I need to have some gasoline. And so to get some gasoline, I have to go and make trips to gather oil. Now that's not the hardest thing in the world to do on a Pteranodon, but they can't carry very much. Um, and I'm going to need quite a bit of oil. So I figured what we would do today is do our best and try to tame ourselves an RG. There is a level 135 male over here somewhere. There he is. He's very pretty, black and white. I actually really like that color scheme on an RG. Um, I'm actually going to see if I can get him to follow me a little. Because it would be ideal if he could, uh, if he could just come and attack me up here. That would be nice. Now, we are on Fars Peak, which is a little bit of a dangerous area. I'm hoping we don't have too much trouble. The The major issue is that I do not have a very good gun right now, so um, I'm a little bit worried that he may fly off before we have a chance to really get this guy tamed up. Come here. Come here. Now, he does have pretty bad health to begin with, I'm noticing, which could be kind of a problem as well. Oh, no. We've got all the other RGs on us. Level 60, level 55. Oh no, I just want the one. I don't understand why they have to group up like that. It's always such a problem trying to tame these guys. Now, I would try to go for a griffin since those did just update, and I actually have seen one on my single player game already. Um, but we do not have the aloe kibble for that. Uh, I've not been using that particular... I've not been... Uh, taming up any aloes on this game, and so it will probably take some time before we get a griffin on this particular game. So I figured starting with an RG would be the way to go. Unfortunately, it's just a mess up here. Um, come here. I would like to just have the one RG. Oh man, this would be so much easier if I could pull out a weapon on the back of the Pteranodon, let me tell you. Um, Alright, can I not fall off and die here? Kind of. That's a weird drop. All right. Oh, no. Which one is it? This may not actually be a thing. Um, this is actually really hard. Okay. There you are. I just want the one RG. Um, I'm probably going to die. Oh, it's so bad trying to tame on the top of a mountain. Uh... No? That should have hit. Okay. Nope. I'm just trying to aim. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so now I don't need the uh, aiming function anymore. I believe the Pteranodon is on passives. Oh, we should be okay right up until this guy decides to run. And then we may have a bit of a chase on our hands. Uh, hopefully we will be able to get it down at all. That would be that would be the biggest issue. It is also quite a bit dangerous uh, trying to tame on the side of a mountain. <laughs> we'll we'll see how well this goes. I'm gonna do my best here. No, don't knock me off the mountain, you. Don't do it. Okay, we're doing okay so far. Oh man, I wish I had a stronger gun. This would go a lot quicker. No. Just be nice. Take the trank darts. Just take them. Nope. Wow, that was... Ah, uh, dang it. Okay. Man, they're, he's circling really weird now, and it's hard to get a shot off on him Ugh, without missing. No, 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 no. No! Now he decides to run. Oh, man, I might have had a chance there for a minute. Um, oh no, Aloe's. No, wait, where'd he go? No! Aloe, no! Aloe, why? Oh my goodness. That's the worst. Please don't. Please don't kill my beautiful Argy. Uh, 
Nope. Nope. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Clearly going to be a problem. Um, oh, my goodness. If I could land somewhere relatively safe from the aloes, I might be able to get a shot off on him. That would be the goal. Uh, that would be ideal. I don't know. Oh, no. With the... Maybe. Oh, there's no way. Nope. Oh, wait. I hit him. What? Okay, that's actually kind of amazing. Um, it must be because it's a single-player game, because that would never have happened ever. Nope. Can we not? That would never have happened ever on a, on a server. I can guarantee. Okay, so now we've got him down here. So now we just need to hit him. Oh, come on. Maybe one or two more times. Can we can we do it? No. All right, he's right there. If he doesn't turn too much. He was running and now he's not. So I'm a little worried that he's losing his torpor. Oh, come on. No, and we've got all the scorpions coming af after us. There we go. Okay. Um, I just need one more good hit. No. Dang it. Okay. We're going to have to chase him again. That's all right. We know which way he's going. If you just keep heading down, I may be able to get him. Oh, man. Now, this would be so much easier if I would just uh, break down and build a trap, I realize, but I really, really hate trap building, guys. It's it's one of the worst experiences for me on Ark ever, and I never can get them to work properly, and so I get really frustrated, and I don't like to build them. Let's not. Let's not mess with the scorpions, because they're a big pain, and I don't like it. All right, let's go land on this rock. This rock looks good. I like rocks, and can we not do that so I can see? Wait. Where'd the RG go? Where'd it go? What happened? Wait. <laughs> it was right there. Um. Okay. Oh, there you are. What? How did you disappear? Can we land? All right, we're going to get this guy. We're going to do it. It's going to be a little difficult. It's going to be a little tricky. I don't know if we'll get that through the trees. Definitely not. Headshot. Yes. Okay. And he's running. Yes, he's down. Awesome. Okay. Oh, my goodness. So that was a challenge and a half, but we did manage to get this guy down. Very, very excited about that. Uh, we have a Rex and probably all of the other nasty things around us. Um, but we have a level 135 RG, which is pretty darn good for a starter RG. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do this, guys. I am going ahead, gonna go ahead and purchase a soothing bomb. Um, I did go ahead and, <laughs> I did go ahead and spend money on some Ancient Amber for the Black Friday sale, just so everyone knows I did do that. Normally, I would not have purchased Amber, but, um... I just can't keep up with all the ad watching at the moment, and because it was so on sale, I decided this was a good time to uh, sink some of the YouTube money back into the game so that we could continue producing quality content for you guys, and so that I wouldn't have to use uh, quite so much time as as I was thinking I might. Uh, so that's actually the entire reasoning behind um, purchasing the Amber in the first place, and I do hope it's going to be useful all going into the channel, all going into content, so don't worry too much about that, guys. All right, there we go. So we do have some raw meat. Um, we actually might go kill that Rex. That would actually be a really good thing to do. Um, let me think here. Yeah, maybe. Nah, he's all the way down there. What level is he? I don't want to... Okay, he's off the cliff. <laughs> I, I do want to get some prime for the RG, but I also don't want to leave him unguarded in any way, shape, or form, uh, because this is a very dangerous area. Far's Peak is the worst, worst possible place to try taming anything except maybe a griffin, and even then, uh, only if you have something really good to defend it with, which I really don't, because all I have is my Pteranodon. 
All right. But luckily we're soothing bombed up, so this shouldn't take too terribly long. I'm just going to wait and see what kind of uh, percentage we get with the raw meat on the RG here. And then we're probably going to take a quick cut and come back when the RG is all tamed up. There we go. Okay, yes. So that won't take too terribly long at all. Uh, it looks like he actually has some pretty good stam to start out with and very good weight. That's actually a really good base weight. He's going to end up with a really high weight stat. I am so excited about that. That's exactly what we needed. Um, oh man, now I'm like extra, extra happy with this uh, particular tame. All right, guys, so I will bring you back in a few minutes when this RG is up. We are ready to take it back to base and uh, maybe do a little bit of an oil trip to, to do a test run for this guy. So I will catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, we are back, and this RG is just about ready to take his last bite here. Now, unfortunately, a couple of scorpions did wander down the hill almost immediately after I ended the cutscene last time, and yeah, we lost a lot of taming effectiveness, so we're only going to get 32 extra levels. Um, I could have killed it and tried to revive tame it, but uh, I'm just, I don't think it's worth the effort. Uh, a 166 RG is still okay. And it actually came out with 574 weight, so definitely not as, co as good as it could have gotten. Um, but it's not bad. For a starter RG, it's going to be great. And, you know, I'm just, I'm happy that we have one at all, honestly. So, uh, I will probably be looking for a better one at some point. Um, but yeah, this will do just fine. Okay, come on. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this guy back to base. I may wait till it's daylight before we decide to go and try to do a little bit of a collecting trip uh, for oil because that could be dangerous, and that's a Giga. Giga on the single player. Um, yep, level 10 female. Let's not. Let's, let's not go anywhere near that. I'd rather just not mess with her. She's pretty, though. I think she's got, like, a red belly. I do want to look at her. Oh, yeah. Nice, bright red belly. Oh, she's scary. Okay. Let's go this way. <laughs> we'll just keep on flying. We'll be safer over this way. Um, now, as I said, griffins have definitely started to spawn in my single-player world on Far's Peak. I've seen one so far. Um, it was only level 25, but I definitely do want to keep an eye out four good ones because I will be taming aloes at some point so I can get some kibble going. Uh, and once we have a little bit of kibble, then we can definitely do a little bit of aloe tame, uh, a little bit of griffin taming, which is going to be fun and is probably going to take a long time. There's one as well. Yep, that's the one I saw before. All right, so Balfi-E. Um, I don't know what's up with the that last I letter because I've tamed almost nothing but those types of griffins. Um, but I guess I've had a lot of luck finding them. All right, guys. So I will bring you guys back in a little bit when we are ready to take our brand new, pretty good RG out for a test, uh, test flight. All right. Catch you guys in a minute. Okay, guys. So we are back and oh my goodness, this RG is just absolutely beautiful. I cannot even believe it. Oh my goodness. I really like the black and white color scheme on him. Um, now, I did just notice that my pick is um, a little bit broken, so I definitely need to repair that. Let me just drop it in here real quick. I actually don't think I have a good blueprint for a pick just yet, but that's all right. Um, we'll just take this guy back and... Ugh. Let's go over here. So I do need to go and run a few more caves um, pretty quickly here on the single player game. Uh, but that's all right. Oh my goodness, it feels good to be back on an RG. It has been a little bit of time. Uh, I actually need to figure out which way I'm going. There we go, okay. I'm headed in the right, right-ish direction. So the North Shore actually has quite a bit of oil on it, uh, which is super handy. That is where we will be going to get some of this uh, some of the oil that we definitely are going to need for the gasoline. We're also going to need hide, but that is less of a problem to get since we do have a saber and uh, some other pretty good dinos for gathering hide, uh, or at least killing creatures so we can gather hide. All right. It is kind of a long flight on a slow RG up there, so I will bring you guys back in just a minute when we get to some oil nodes. 
All right. So we're back. Um, I'm kind of scouting the area here, making sure there's no wolf packs nearby. And it looks like we're relatively safe. So I'm going to go ahead and land here and grab myself a little bit of oil from these oily rocks. Oh, man, the oil. We don't get very much with this pick. I'm definitely going to need to get a better pick. Man. <laughs> It's rough. Uh, it, takes even, it takes even longer to get a lot of oil than it does to get a lot of crystal if you have a bad pick, which is kind of frustrating. I'm going to pick these silica pearls up while I'm here as well, just because they are super useful for electronics, and I'm going to need a lot of electronics in the future as well. Oh, jellyfish. Um, so there is a saber over there. But there is more oil, so we'll go ahead and grab that as well. And you do need to be careful of perlavias in the snow biome. This is actually kind of prime territory for them. And they do stun you, and they probably would be able to kill me in the armor I'm currently wearing. So I want to be extra careful about that. Ooh, that's a Rex, but I need the oil. But that's a Rex, but I need the oil. Um, we may have to kill a Rex. <laughs> what level are you? Level 75. I don't really want to kill that Rex. It's after the Anki. We'll go ahead and help. Oh yeah, we do we do enough damage to get this going. Uh, and that's actually good because then we'll have a little bit of uh, extra meat on us as well because we were a little bit low. I didn't put any extra on the RG before we came out here. Got a nice shark out there. All of the good things. Alright, and actually killing this Rex will probably give us a couple of levels right off the bat, which is only a good thing on an RG because we are going to need literally all of the speed because I hate going slow and RGs are an incredibly slow mount um, if you don't have if you don't have speed leveled up on them so we will be putting a lot of points into speed starting off here can we please end you little Rex you're very frustrating luckily RGs do have quite a bit of health so I'm not too worried about getting killed by this thing almost there we go beautiful all right, so now we actually have some levels. Cool, and some oil. Can we, there we go. Oh my gosh, not a lot of oil, but uh, it is better than none. It will be enough to get the fabricator running and then we will be able to come and get more later on. I'm actually gonna go ahead and level this guy up now. Yeah, five levels, pretty darn good to start off with. Excellent. Beautiful. Come with me. All right, guys. So I'm actually going to pick up this Rex egg since we did kill the Rex. <laughs> Never hurts to have an extra egg sitting around. Um, whoop, there we go. All right, guys. So I'm going to continue uh, harvesting up some oil. It's going to take me quite a while out here. But yeah, that is... I think that's actually going to do it for today's episode, guys. Um, maybe not the longest episode ever, but we did a lot of things. Uh, we got ourselves an RG, which was a surprisingly successful tame, except for the fact that scorpions came along and ruined the day. Um, killed a Rex, got some oil, got everything we needed. All right, guys. So if you did find yourself enjoying this video at any point, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. So I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.